How's the Christmas feast coming along? Ah, oh, I can hardly wait, mateys. Mmm, that Christmas kelp loaf smells delicious. Mmm. Christmas for Stubble Hubba de Hubba. Tunip says the Christmas feast should be ready in about an hour. First Stubble, set up a table top. But first, they have to set the table. Oh, I love this part. <laughs> 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 Like a Let us help you with that. You Vegemals are already busy enough. Aye, I don't know how we ever got by without these little mateys. Me neither. Shellington, tell us again how you met them. With pleasure, Peso. It was years ago that I discovered the Vegemals. Of course, I didn't know they were Vegemals at first. I was out doing some research when I found something very unusual on the side of the octopod. As far as I could tell, they were eggs, but they were bigger than any fish eggs I'd ever seen. In any case, it wasn't safe to leave them outside, so I brought them back to my lab to study. I kept a close watch on them day and night. Then, one morning, I awoke to a strange noise. It sounded like singing. And that's when I met Tunip. I'd never seen anything like them. They seemed to be half vegetable and half animal. So I called them Vegemals. Well, the octopod wouldn't be the same without them. What is it, Dashy? Is there something strange on the map, Captain? It almost looks like there's a lake right here on the seafloor. A lake? At the bottom of the ocean? Oh, my! Now, this is a Christmas surprise. So you know what this thing is, Professor? I think I do, Captain. If I'm not mistaken, it's a brine lake. Brine lakes are made of really salty water that settles on the seafloor. They're very rare. In fact, I've never actually seen one. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and take a look. I'm coming too. I'd love to take some photos. And just be back in time for the feast. Don't worry. We'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> It 
it is, the Brine Lake. Incredible. Cool. It's water that's underwater. That's right. Brine lakes are so salty that hardly anything can live in them. But there are lots of little creatures around the edges. Well, hello there. Merry Christmas. It's coming. It's coming. Yes, Christmas seems to come faster every year, doesn't it? Ah! Huh? <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. Ledger Mouse to move on. Oops. Shellington Dashy and Inkling still haven't returned. Captain! Come in, Captain! Shellington, what's happened? It's got us, Captain! Can't get out! A great big slimy. Shellington! Come in, Shellington! Quasi, Peso, Tweak, to the Cup Sea! Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> sign of any of them. No sign of the guppy either. Captain, look at this. Shellington's magnifying glass. Something's not right. Um, Captain. Shellington would never leave this lying around. Then they must have cleared out of here in a hurry. Where did they go? Th th there! <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! Captain, get us out of here! Don't touch it, or you'll get stuck too! Don't worry, we'll get you out. Get to the cup scene. We'll use the tow line to pull them out. Oh! <gasps> We're surrounded. Brace yourselves, this could get sticky! Oh! <laughs> what is this stuff? It's called marine mucilage. Sea snot. It's made of rotting bits of plants and plankton. <laughs> Just how I wanted to spend Christmas stuck in a big blob of snot. Captain, those creatures are about to be stuck in here with us. Wait! <laughs> That's not good. Sea snot can be very dangerous to any sea creatures who get stuck in it. We've got to help them. But first, we've got to get ourselves out. We'd better call for backup. Backup? Well, who's going to get us out of this one, Captain? Tune in. Come in, tune in. Hubble, the first of the cooler. The Christmas feast will have to wait, tune in. We're stuck in a snot block. <gasps> and if we don't get out of here soon, there'll be no one there to eat it. Need your help, tune in. Sending an emergency rescue plan. Hurry! Super? Emergency rescue plan downloaded. Send out the actor alerta. Let's move to the HQ. Oh, 
Hajime, the Akuna, Stuka Stuka, the Labo. Watch out the skewer. Welcome back to volume 17 of the Octonauts video training series. Today's lesson quicksand, slime spills, and blob rescues. Hmm. Quicksand can be blob rescues. When rescuing someone from a blob, it's important to almost have a rescue vehicle so you don't get stuck yourself. Extend a rescue line to the person or creature and use it to pull them out of the blob. <sighs> Always remember, a vehicle and rescue line beats a blob every time. Now, let's try out our technique. I think I see a blob now. Help! Help! Thank you. <gasps> Captain Barnacles, we are stuck and we can't get out. Stay in your vehicle, matey, or you'll get stuck in the pudding too. It's a blob. I mean the blob. <gasps> Here, grab onto this rescue line. <clears throat> Not bad. And that's all there is to it. So remember, a vehicle and rescue line beats a blob every time. A vehicle and rescue line beats a blob every time. Vegemars, do the launch a ball. Sea snails, help is on the way. Hmm. I don't have a vehicle, but I do have a rescue line. Oh! Keep pulling, Captain. You're doing great. You're all 
almost free. Yep. Oh. Right back in the blob of snot. Listen, everyone. What in the seven seas is that? It sounds like singing. <laughs> Whiskers. Tune up the sea snails. Rescue the sea snails. Stella? Come on up. Gorilla. These are the ectomites. Gorilla. a blob every time. Good work, Vegemals. Super Papu, this is quite a creation, Vegemals. You think you can pull the guppy out of the snot blob, too? Super power. Booga! Uh-oh. It looks like you could use some help. Come on, everyone. Look! The blob's getting bigger! <laughs> Vegemals, it's time to deal with this snot blob once and for all. Move out the mover! A vacuum! Ah, good thinking, little mateys! Much of it. Tune it. Pull up. Yeah. Now where can we pull all this snot? Oh, right in there. The brine lake. It's too salty even for sea snot, and there aren't any creatures for it to hurt in there. Sounds like the perfect place for this stuff. Head for the brine lake, Tune it. And a sleigh ride saves Christmas every time. Right, Tunip? <laughs> Tunip! Tunip! I think he's waking up. Super? Easy there, Tunip. You've had a lot of excitement today. Good work, Tunip. We're all very proud of you. You and the other Vegemals saved us from that snot blob. And you saved all those sea creatures by the brine lake. And best of all, Beatty, you saved Christmas. Christmas? Christmas! 
Like dinner is served. Oh, oh, it's it's Vegemals, thank you for preparing such a wonderful feast. <laughs> but most of all, thank you for getting us all back home for Christmas. Hooray! Turn up. Could be. No one knows, Captain. But Whitebeard was a fearsome pirate. I've heard that he could throw one of his legendary flying snowballs from the Arctic all the way to the tropics. Calico Jack once told me that a snowball from Whitebeard landed right on the deck of his ship and he never melted. Remarkable. Here, Captain. This be the spot. Uh, ah! We hit something. Why, there it be! Whitebeard's treasure! <laughs> now all we need is the key for that lock. Let me just find the right one. Bluebeard's treasure, Redbeard's treasure... Ah, here it is! Oh, your paws are so cold I can barely feel them. Whoa! My key! <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! Captain, a hungry sardine just gobbled up me key! That could make the sardine very sick. We've got to find her. Let's split up to cover more ground. Aye, Captain. I'm fine, Captain, but I just took a whale of a ride. What was the meaning of those bubbles you were blowing at me? Well, I can't help it if you crashed into my bubble net. Humpback whales like me make bubble nets so that we can catch a lot of food at once. We're sorry to disturb you, but uh, we're chasing after a school of sardines. Maybe you saw which way they went. No, but I'll keep an eye out. If I see them, I'll send you a signal. That's how us humpback whales communicate. Just listen for this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got it? Got, got it. it! Whoa, there's some krill. Yummy. Hey, gotta go. And the name's Mitch. That little sardine is going to get a big tummy ache if we don't find her soon. Hi, Captain. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> We need 
to track down a sardine who swallowed Quasi's key. Oh no, that could make the sardines sick. I found a school of sardines in the area, Captain. Great work, Dashy. But how will we know which sardine has swallowed the key? Tweak? This x-ray viewer should do the job. Tunip, let's show him. Hide that hammer behind your back. Super, super! Very good. We'll need more than one of these x-ray viewers to find a little key in a little sardine in a great big ocean. I'm on it, Cap. Peso, meet us out here in the Gup E. Once we find the right sardine, we'll need you to perform an emergency keyectomy. On my way, Captain. Quasi, Peso, activate x-ray viewers. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Captain. The sardines, let's go. And now move in closer so we can look for Quasi's key. They're splitting up. You two follow that group, I'll follow the other. Aye, aye, Cap. We have to hurry. That sardine needs our help. Ow! Quasi, none of my sardines has the key, which means that one of yours does. Quasi and I are still chasing them, Captain. Quasi, are you? Quasi? Quasi to Captain Barnacles. Do you read me? Peso, are you there? I've got to get me gut back in the water fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, there's that humpback whale. Ahoy, Mitch! Can you hear me? Oh, maybe if I send that signal. Oh, sounds like somebody needs help. Oh, you really do need to watch where you're going. Yeah, yeah, but right now, I need to get my gup off this iceberg. Okay, I'll tip the iceberg over for you. Ugh, too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Mitch. Called. Hey, guys, I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on up there. Ready, guys? One. A little more. Two. A little more. Sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys. And I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. Hey, Mitch, could you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardines from getting away? Of course. Come on, fellas, bubble net. <laughs> Sick fish. 
Let's get her out of there. Quasi, on my command, I want you to grab her. Aye, Captain. Now! Don't be afraid. We're here to help with your tummy ache. I'd like some relief. Just hold still. I'm going to perform a keyectomy. Just swallow some of these bubbles, then let out a nice big burp, like this. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <gasps> it worked! Mickey! Sorry it gave you a tummy ache. I feel much better. Thanks. Thank you, humpback whales. No problem. Always enjoy making a bubble net. We'll just be on our way now, but, uh, will you look after him? He, he has a habit of, uh... Crashing into things? <laughs> yes, I know. Yo. Oh. Well, Captain, now that I've got me key back... We finally get to see what's inside Whitebeard's treasure chest. <gasps> Tis the legendary flying snowballs of Whitebeard. <laughs> and look... It's a note from Whitebeard himself. It says, whoever finds this treasure is worthy to use it. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> I can't believe we're back in these chilly waters again. It's all in the name of science, Quasi. Indeed, the creatures of the Arctic Zone make some fascinating sounds. And with the Octopod's underwater microphone, we can record them for our collection. Oh, what's making that sound? Oh, <laughs> just my tummy. <laughs> I ate some of Tunip's kelp cakes for lunch, with a wee bit too much hot sauce. Wait, I'm picking up something else. Listen. Sounds like walruses to me. The computer will match the sound with the animal and we'll see if you're right, Captain. Ah, oh, walruses. Now let me guess the next one. It is a strange sound from a strange creature. And this strange creature could only be the... Herring? Yes, herring. They talk by blowing gas bubbles out of their behinds. Out of their behinds. Ooh, what's that coming from? Sounds like some kind of whale song. It is. Bowhead whales. They only live here in the Arctic, so their sounds can't be recorded anywhere else. Look. Howdy, folks. Hello, worthy octonauts. Pleased to meet you. That's an enormous head, even for a whale. The head of each bowhead whale is as big as a bus. We're not aiming to brag now, but we bowheads do have the strongest, toughest heads in the Arctic. How tough? Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Yow! And we make some pretty big sounds, too. Ready, boys? getting a perfect recording of them. Bowhead whales sing all the time, while they're traveling, playing, even eating. It's how they talk to each other. It's always nice to make new friends out here on the Arctic range, but now we've got to hit the trail. It's feeding time. Come on, giddy up, partners. Bye. Now. Take care now. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. What's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. Narwhals, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, peso to the launch bay. <laughs> It's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. 
Ahoy in there! Nervals! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! I know that voice! Boris? Ah, Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes, until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Three narwhals are trapped under the ice, and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish! Narwhals are whales, and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while, and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We're feeling very weak. Ah, it's caught on something. Ah, ah. Yes, that did it. Ah, ah. Oh, there it is. You much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Not even a crack. Let's bring in the drill. Tweak will need the Gup D. <laughs> All right, Cap. I'll have him out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. Drill stuck. That ice is just too thick. stronger to break through this ice, and we need it now. Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch. Good idea, but it would take too long. Hmm. <laughs> How about blasting it with a sonic slicer? The ice is too thick for that. I've got an old pirate cannon under me bed, but I'm all out of cannonballs. Enough to smash through just about anything. Good thinking, Tulip. Now all we have to do is find our new bowhead whale friends again. Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs. Try it louder, Dashy. We don't have much time. Howdy, y'all! 
We need your help. Three narwhals are trapped in the ice, and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashy. How much longer? Look! Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Morris, Norwals, everyone, get back! Nichols, my dear old friend. Thanks to you and your Octonaut crew for saving us. And you two are mighty bowhead whale friends. Oh, shucks, Boris. We're nothing. Always glad to help a fellow whale in need. Yes, thank you, bowheads. It's amazing what you can do when you put your heads together. <laughs> Especially when you've got heads this big. Ain't that right, boys? Happy trails, partners! Welcome to Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth. It's too cold for pirates, but not for my cousins, the Delhi penguins. I can't wait for you to meet them. Hi, me hearty. But couldn't we meet them somewhere warmer? Adele penguins don't live anywhere else in the world. Antarctica is their only home. We've come to visit at the perfect time. The chicks have just hatched. And Quasi, Peso and I are going to give their parents a little help. Yeah, what kind of help? Babysitting, of course. Babysitting? Quasi, Peso, to the guppe. <laughs> So? Thanks for keeping an eye on the chicks while we swim out into the ocean for food. Mum, Dad, can I come too? I'm not too scared to swim in the ocean. You're still a chick. You haven't grown your seagoing feathers yet. Yeah, Rocco. Grown-up penguins have special feathers that keep us warm in the freezing water. You'll get too cold swimming in the ocean. It could make you sick. Bye, Rocco. We'll be back soon. Keep an extra eye on my Rocco. He's a daredevil, completely fearless. Don't worry, I know the type. <laughs> so, what's in the box? Presents for everyone. <laughs> a rock! A rock. That's right. Adeli penguins collect little rocks to build their nests. See? Line up, everyone, and we'll pass them round. <laughs> My name is Flip, and I'm Flap. Oh, but here's a present for you. And one for you. Your little rock is better than my little rock. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, well, uh, let's see. Here we go. These two rocks are exactly the same. Thank you. Good work, Peso. Captain, there's an iceberg on the loose and it's heading for the octopod. I'm on my way. Peso, Quasi, you'll have to handle the babysitting without me. Yeah, I'll miss all the excitement. Not all the excitement. I'll babysit most of the chicks and you babysit Rocco. Just Rocco? I can do that with one paw tied behind my back. Flip! Flap! Come away from that ledge. Phew. Ah, <sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco? Where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! Can <laughs> 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 That's what my mum always says. <laughs> Let's swap rocks. I want my old rock back. Why? Because 
is it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. Mum, flap! He's flip. Oh, sorry, flap. You mean flip. Yes, floop. I mean fleep. I mean, oh, flappity flippers. <sighs> Flap, if you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like Flap's. I mean, Flip's. You're right. Flappy now. I mean, happy now. Happy! Phew. See that bird up there? Hi, matey. I like to play a little game with him. Watch this. Hey there, you big, beaky birdie. You don't scare me. <laughs> See? Now he's coming to get me. Shiver. Whiskers. He is coming to get you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was fun. That was close. Rocco, me hearty. You have to be a little more careful. Even in my pirate days, I knew... Where'd he go? Rocco? Quasi! Cannonball! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I think Captain <laughs> Barnacles has the easy job today. This water is getting rough. Dash it to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's big. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards me. Dashy, sign the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. A big storm on the way. <gasps> That's dangerous for the Adelie penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashy, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Already on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adelie penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup sea. Got it, Cap. Octonaut, let's do this. Hang on, penguins. I'm coming to get you. Oh, got you. Two more. Hold tight. On board. <laughs> oh, we need a shelter to keep the chicks warm. And we need it fast. Bandages. Bandages? Quasi, throw me bandage rolls as fast as you can. Ready? Aye, but go! <laughs> Everyone, inside the tent! <laughs> this is so exciting! I don't want to go inside and miss the big storm! Rocco, it's too cold for you out here, matey! Oh, all right! <laughs> that ought to do it! Nice and cosy! Right, Rocco? Where's Rocco? If he's not in here, then he's out there. I'm going after him. Rocco! Rocco! <laughs> Rocco! Rocco! I'm to move. Let's get inside that tent and warm up. 
All right, Quilty. We'd all be icicles if it weren't for this tent, Peso. I hope Mum and Dad are all right. How will they make it back in this storm? Don't worry. Captain Barnacles will bring them home. And nothing can stop the captain, matey. <gasps> An iceberg on the beach can really slow him down. <sighs> Not that iceberg again. How will we get home, Captain? Don't worry. The Gulf Sea was built to break through ice. <laughs> Penguins, this could get bumpy. Hold on. Where's Rocco? Where's, Where's Quasi? Quasi? Just one more time, eh, matey? <laughs> Captain, we're entering the coldest Arctic water. Now, coming up to an ice pack. Excellent, Dashy. Steady as she goes. Aye, aye, Captain. At this speed, we'll reach the North Pole before nightfall. I can't wait to meet creatures that only live in the Arctic. Ah, the joys of polar life. I remember being a cub. Rolling in the snow, sliding on the ice, diving into the freezing water. I really miss it. Can't wait to get out there for an icy swim. <sighs> You're giving me the chills. I need some nice hot chocolate. It's only cold if you move slowly, Quasi. Keep swimming and you'll stay warm. It's as simple as that. <sighs> In just a few minutes, we'll be out from under this ice pack. Then we can set the octopod down and... Uh-oh. What is it, Dashy? The octopod's getting so cold that my computer's frozen, Captain. I'm... I'm having trouble steering the ship. Cap, we better keep the octopod moving, or the engines will freeze and stop working. We can't let that happen, or we'll all be in... Big trouble. Dashy, activate manual steering now. Right away, Captain. Full speed ahead, Octonauts. It feels good to get my paws on the ship's steering wheel again. <sighs> We're right back on course again, Captain. Ice looks sharp. Aye, sharp enough to slice right through the octopod like butter. But the captain will steer us safely through. Yow! Giant iceberg dead ahead! Whoa! That was a close one, Quasi! <laughs> oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Jumping off from port, sailing out to sea on the octopod, just you and me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. Shiver me whiskers. Ice avalanche! Turn, turn, turn left! Turn right! There's nowhere to turn. We've got to stop the ship. Now. <gasps> Ten seconds till we hit the ice wall. Oh, ah! Ah! How fast, you beauty! 
shooting a scurvy octopod star! Six seconds till we hit the wall. Five. Hold on. Four, three, two, oh, oh. one. Ah. It's okay. We've stopped. I know, but you're standing on my foot. Oh, sorry. Phew. That was close, mateys. Now what, Captain? If we can't go forward, then we go back the way we came. Ow! Captain, look out! We're trapped. Dashie, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Captain, are we in trouble? Well, Peso, we're trapped here in the freezing cold waters of the Arctic Ocean, surrounded on all sides by ice, with no clear way to escape. So that's a yes, then? Ah, you know, these ice walls are often quite thin. It might be possible to break through one of them. Aye, let me out there in the gut B, Captain. I'll smash that ice to smithereens. Or I could add a drill to the gut D and... Uh-oh. I was afraid this might happen. What might happen, Tweak? We've stopped moving, and it's so cold that ice is clogging the engines, shutting them down. Cutting off all power to the octopod. Ah, no good. The ice is too thick. If only I could find a place where the ice is thin. What's that noise? Captain, look over there. Something's breaking through the ice wall. <gasps> A blast! It is the legendary deep sea unicorn. Ah, that's no unicorn. It's a narwhal. A nar what? A narwhal. Fascinating. It's a very special type of whale with a spiral tusk growing from its head. They only live here in the Arctic. That tusk is actually a long tooth, very much like an elephant's. By the way, unicorns are make-believe. Narwhals, on the other hand, are quite real. I knew that. Hello, Boris. Barnacles? <laughs> what a surprise. It's good to see you, old friend. It's good to see you too. I've known Boris ever since I was a cub. Yes, he was quite something, this bear. Always a leader, even as a young cub. But what are you doing inside all this ice? Our engines have frozen. We could really use your help getting out of here, old friend. But of course. My tusk is very, very good at telling if things are warm or cold. I can lead you out of the ice and into warmer, open water. Thank you, Boris. Now, we just have to work out how to get the ship moving again. Cap, the Arctic engines are frozen solid. In that case, I'm going to need to change gups. Tweak, prepare the gup C. OK, everyone. Here we go. Arr! One more time. there. Oh no. I don't believe it. Another solid wall of ice. Allow me, my friend. What's he doing? Using his tusk to feel how thick the walls are. Remarkable. As I thought, is always one place where the ice is thinnest. <laughs> You better swim aside, old friend. 
Well. Thank you, Boris. You're very welcome, old friend. Temperatures are returning to normal, sir. And the engines are starting back up. Good work, Octonauts. So, now that we're free, who'd care to join me for a nice little icy water swim? Uh, gotta go clean up the launch bay. Uh, uh, no thanks. I've got to um, polish my spyglass. Yes, and I have to um, uh, clean up the lab. Yes, that's it. Oh, suit yourselves. <laughs> this is the life. Oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Shoving off from port and sailing out to sea on the octopod, just to you and to me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. <laughs> All right. Say, ah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just a little shy. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. Captain? <laughs> we love your accordion music, Captain Barnacles, and it really helps this one relax for his medical checkup. Oh, it was nothing. I hope you haven't caught a cold up here in the Arctic. Oh, no. We orcas are used to the cold Arctic weather. <laughs> Yes, you're one healthy orca. Thanks, Peso. Thanks, Captain. Bye. Bye, orcas. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Whew. Six orca throat exams, three fin and tail checkups, and teeth cleaning for the whole pod. What a day. Good work, Peso. But we'd better hurry back to the octopod. With these chunks of ice moving in from all directions, it could get dangerous. <laughs> It's worse than I thought. Phew, that was close. Captain. I see it. Hang on, Peso. Brace yourself. Peso, are you okay? I think so. Are you? I'm all right, but I'm not sure the gup is. We need to get it out of this chunk of ice. It's no use, we're stuck. What'll we do? Don't worry, we'll get out of this. Let's call the octopod. Professor Inkling, prepare to meet your match in the game of pirate drafts. I've asked, I've got you now. No, it looks like I've got you, Quasi. <laughs> ah, I've been suckered. Barnacles to Quasi. Come in, Quasi. We're going to need some help out here. Sound the Octo Alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the Guff E has crashed. Peso and I are going to need some help getting back to the octopod. We'll have to hurry before the Gup E is hit by another giant chunk of ice. It could break the Gup. That's the problem. The Gup E is stuck in a giant chunk of ice. And we can't get it out. Oh. <gasps> Hang on, mateys. I'll come out in the Gup C to give you a tow. I hope you can find us, Quasi. The crash damaged our Gup Finder. And we're drifting pretty quickly. I'm seeing lots of ice chunks. None with a gup in it. Better keep looking. Oh, oh. I do hope Quasi can find us. 
Oh, it's getting bumpy. Uh-oh, we're heading straight for an iceberg. Flappity flippers. Abandon ship, Peso. Where did the guppy go? Look! Oh no. Don't worry, we just need to climb to the top and break the gup out of the iceberg. Climb to the top? Yes, we can do it. We're a team. Huh. Come on. Yes, we did. Now, the trick will be how to dig our gup out of this ice. Oh, all this moving ice is making me dizzy. I can't tell which way I'm going. Captain, come in, Captain. We've lost radio contact with the gup E, Quasi, but they should be around there. Keep looking. Oh, I've searched everywhere for them, but all I've found down here is ice, ice and more ice. What was that? It sounded like the captain's accordion music. Shiver me whiskers. It's not Captain Barnacles at all. It's the Orcas. Maybe they can help. Hey, look! Quasi! I heard your Orca songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Oh, no, 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 dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We Orcas will help you find them. Huh? huh? Oh no, the ice is breaking in two. Peso, jump! Hang on! We've got to stay with the gun. Jump again. <laughs> Peso, use me as a bridge. Yes. Gotcha. Phew. Yeah, we've looked everywhere for him down here. Hey, what about spy hopping? Spy hopping? What's that? Spy hopping is how we look around up above the water. Yeah, watch me, Quasi. Well, I'm no walker, but I'll give it the old pirate try. Yep. Yeah. You did it! Well done! Thanks, matey. But there's lots of ice up there, too. Better stay with the pod, Quasi. Yeah, we orcas always stick together. Aye, let's start spy hopping! I think I see something. It's Barnacles and Peso. We found them. Whoa! 
What's happening? Quasi, you found us. I knew you would. Aye, thanks to our Orca pals here. But where's the guppy? Um, up there. It's still stuck in the ice. How are we going to get it back in the water? If only we could tip this iceberg back over again. I reckon our Orca friends could help. Yeah, we love ice tipping. Ice tipping? It's what we Orcas do to find food. We tip the chunks of ice over. Watch. Ready, set, tip! can do everything. Now we can get the Gups home. I just hope we don't crash into another ice chunk on our way back. Orcas, you know your way around these waters. Can you guide us out of here? Of course. Aye, Orcas and Octonauts always stick together. And I know exactly how to make the trip a little more fun. <laughs> Everyone keep a lookout. Captain, it looks like they're heading our way. We should be able to see them out of the window any minute now. Dashi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, the eels are on the move. They should be here any minute. This only happens one time each year, so we don't want to miss it. <gasps> there they are! Eels! <gasps> lots and lots of them. Let me get a picture. Yeah, they're in a big hurry to get somewhere, but where? They're on their way from the ocean up the river to the lake. It's a dangerous journey. No one knows exactly how they do it. Octonauts, our mission is to follow these eels and find out. Shellington. Thank you, Captain. Every year, a group of young eels travels from the ocean where they were born up the river to this lake where they will live. That looks easy enough. Ah, but there are all kinds of dangers along the way, Quasi. Rocks, rough bumpy water, sudden twists and turns in the river. I'd like to try that trip myself. And that's why you'll be driving the Guppe with me on this mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the launch bay. Come on, mateys. Those slippery eels have a head start, and we've got to catch up. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You've got it, Cap. We've already made it into the river. We should catch up with the eels in no time, Captain. I hope things don't get too bumpy for us or for them. Yeah. Where be those eels? Ah, there they are. Let's go. No one's ever followed the eels moving up the river this closely before. We're going upstream, and the water keeps pushing us back. Quasi, I'm going to need your help. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Steer with me. One, two, three. <sighs> Thanks, Quasi. Now let's catch up with those slippery little fellas. Eels are swimming fast. Aye, but well we can go as fast as they can. We're gaining on them, Captain. Wow, getting past these rocks is no problem for these eels. Amazing. Anywhere they can go, we can go too. Turn left. No, right. Whoa. 
Dashy to Barnacles. Are you all right? We're all right, Dashy. We're just going for a little spin. Oh, no. I hope they're not hurt. Barnacles to the Octopod. We're all okay. But the Guppe has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after him, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacles out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping jellyfish. The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating. Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing! Uh -oh. Help! Help! Did somebody say something? Help! Where are you? Down here! Hello there. Are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on. Pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. <coughs> oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurts. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry? My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's my tail. It hurts so much I can't move. <sighs> you need a bandage. That was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help getting back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to that lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye, Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. <sighs> that water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. <sighs> Let's go. A cave. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. to swim through that. But we're almost there, I promise. The lake is just on the other side. I really have to get there. We're going in. Follow me. Oh, 
Everyone okay? Just fine. The lake is so calm and beautiful. I am full of squirmy eels. Where were you? We lost you. We were worried. These are my friends. Oh, thanks for getting me here. Well, you young eels certainly work hard to get where you're going. I admire your determination. It's what we do. And when we're old enough, we'll head back down the river to the ocean and have baby eels of our own. And when those babies are old enough, they'll make their journey up the river. Aye, and we'll get to have this adventure all over again. Crashing the duck, going through tunnels, swimming through rapids and over rocks. Right, Peso? Mm. If you say so. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Captain Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. How's it going up there? Um, a bit slowly, Captain. This Arctic ice is so thick, it's taking our sonic slicer forever to cut through it. Almost. Just a little more. There! We made it through. We're heading up now to gather the ice samples, Captain. Just try to be quick. The hole you made in the ice will freeze over very fast and you won't be able to get back into the, um... Back into the water. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be quick. Over and out. Who's making that music, Captain? I'm not sure, Quasi, but it certainly is making it hard to work. Let's investigate. me hearty. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were so good at playing music. Thank you. This xylophone was a present from my Aunt Pepita. Well, you're certainly getting good, but, uh, Peso, do you think you could take a break so we can... This is Shellington calling the Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Barnacle's here. Everything okay up there? Captain, we found another hole. Another hole in the ice? Yes, but that's not all. I'm sending a video through to you now, Captain. They're beluga whales, Captain. Yes, I see. But uh, what are they doing? They appear to be trapped under the pack ice. They should be in open water. Can you ask them if they need help? I'll try, but belugas are very shy creatures. Wait, please! I'm Shellington, and this is Dashi. We are the Octonauts. We might be able to help you. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. What are you doing all the way out here, under the pack ice? The water froze over us. We have to stay near this hole. But why do you need the hole? Have to breathe. Have to breathe. But why can't you just swim back out to the open water, where there isn't any ice? Too far away. Can't swim that far without breathing. Have to stay near the hole. Shellington, what do you make of this? The belugas are trapped. There's ice all around them and only a small hole where they can come up to breathe. And this hole is starting to freeze over too. It's getting smaller and smaller. We have to rescue those belugas right away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to lead the belugas back to open water where there's no ice. But we need something that can cut a path through the ice so that they can breathe along the way. Yeah, what about the sonic slicers? They're too slow. We need to act fast before the beluga's breathing hole freezes over. Just the thing, Cap. Okay, Tweak. Let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. The 
The ice isn't breaking. Pack ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Open water. Now, if I can just get those belugas to follow me. Belugas? This path will lead you to open waters. Have to stay near the hole where it's safe and quiet. Belugas, please follow me before the ice freezes over. Oh, no. oh dear, this is not good at all. Hmm. The belugas don't seem to want to leave their breathing hole. If only they would follow Captain Barnacles. <gasps> I've got it! Fish biscuits! Huh? What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. So I brought them a little fish biscuit snack. Good to see you tuning. Belugas, follow me! It's fish biscuit feast time! Yeah! Yes, it's working! Now shiver me whiskers. Those little fishies think this is food for them. Go away! Go on! Go! Go! Leave it alone! Belugas, follow me! It's dinner time! Too many scary noises have to stay by the hall where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the gup sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! <laughs> oh, oh, it, uh, oh. oh, my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. Peso, we need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso. It's showtime. So xylophone playing sounds just like the beluga song. Have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. It's okay. We can breathe along this path. If we follow the nice sounds down the path, we won't be stuck here anymore. Here we are, open water. Great work, Peso. Thank you, Octonauts. 
Sorry we didn't follow you at first. We belugas are always a bit shy around creatures we don't know, and all those loud noises scared us. Well, now we know each other. And we love your music. It sounds just like ours. Come on, everyone join in. Two, three, four. Ah, I don't know how to sing like a beluga. Oh, come on, Quasi. It's easy. Goodbye, Octonauts. Thanks again. Goodbye, belugas. Safe journey now. Goodbye. <laughs> Just look at that, Octonauts. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Looks like our kind of place, Captain. And best of all, this whole area is still unexplored. It's just out there waiting for us. Well, Quasi's going to be the first to explore the unexplored tonight. <sighs> it's a bit late to start exploring now, Quasi. We can wait till morning. Morning? A pirate never waits till morning. Not when there's an adventure to be had at night. You're not just a little bit scared of what might be out there? Scared? This pirate isn't afraid of anything. Not even sharks. Ha! I laugh at them. How about poisonous jellyfish? Not scary to me. What about vampire squids? Vampire squids? Ah, let me at them. Snakes? Nope. Bats? No. Scorpions? Yeah! No match for Quasi. Uh, how about spiders? Sp <gasps> spiders? Luckily, there are no spiders in the ocean, matey. Um, there aren't, are they, Captain? Don't worry. Spiders only live on land. Good. Well then, as I was saying, this pirate is afraid of nothing. All right, but be careful out there. Yo-ho, yo-ho! It's out to sea I go! Hmm. Fire squids and sharks. <laughs> I'm not scared of. Oh, that's strange. What? Who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a sea plant, it's a funny looking one. <clears throat> Here's another one. Huh? Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs, just like a... Sp Spider! No! <laughs> You're not going to believe what I saw back there. It was creepy. It was crawly. It was It was this big. No, it was bigger than that. It was huge. <sighs> what was it? A vast! It was a giant spider! And it made a strange noise like this. Thunk, thunk, thunk. But, 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 Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there, and it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the gut bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. 
week, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know, you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. It's the spider! Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our gut? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbutz with your lives. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course, a giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch! No. It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> this clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull, and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. A goochie, 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 goo. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> ah, at last, I'm free. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We did it. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, how can I ever thank you? 
Say, would you like to come to my birthday party? The Octonauts never say no to a birthday party. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. I've never seen so many kiddies and grandkiddies. Grandpa, you made it. Ah, yes. Thanks to my new Octonaut friends. I got here just in time. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Ah. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> now I know how that giant clam must have felt. <laughs> Guess Quasi's no longer scared of spiders. Spider crabs, you mean? <laughs> wow, I've never seen a moon like this. Tis known as a pirate's moon. And happens but once every 100 years. Shiver me whiskers, the flying swords. Flying swords? Aye, according to legend, tis only on the night of the rare pirate moon when cold ocean waters turn warm that ye may be lucky enough to see the flying swords. They're a sign, me hearties, that you are near a sunken pirate ship where X marks the spot of the greatest treasure ye could ever hope to find, the sword of the Pirate King. But any pirate who hopes to take it as his own must be brave indeed, because the sword of the Pirate King is guarded by three magical flying swords. Me granddad always wanted to find that treasure. Alas, he never had the chance. But now I do. Arr. Are we going to look for the Pirate King sword, matey? Not we, Aso. Tis a mission I need to go on alone. For the honor of me granddad, Calico Jack. I understand. Good luck, Quasi. We'll follow your progress from the octopod. A sunken ship. This could be it. Well done, Quasi. Keep us posted. I'm going after that sword, me hearties. <laughs> These freezing waters are shivering me whiskers. Oh, what a glorious ship. The Pirate King! The sword is as good as mine. Strange. The water just got warmer. This is definitely it. Quasi, come in, Quasi. We've lost contact, Captain. His radio's been damaged. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost radio contact with Quasi. He may be hurt or in trouble. Dashy, keep trying to radio him. Peso, into the guppe with me. Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Got it, Cap. Quasi to Octopod. Come here, me hearties. Ah, me radio's broken. But I've still got a Pirate King sword to find. Okay, now. Where's that X that marks the spot? That warm water again. Yow! A flying sword. Yow! <laughs> No telling where more of these magical flying swords might be lurking. Ah! Here I am! No, over here! No, down here, matey! Arr! Two down, one to go! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. Something tells me 
that the X that marks the spot is right behind this now! Oh, the last one. Stand aside, you scurvy sword. Magic ye may be, but quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. Quasi! <gasps> Look! Quasi? It's not Quasi. We've been chasing a figurehead. One that could only have come off a pirate ship. But then, where's Quasi? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Ranny! <laughs> so, it's a duel you're wanting, is it? Then it's a duel ye shall have! Hey, you're a swordfish! <laughs> of course I'm a swordfish! What did you think I was? A magic flying sword? <laughs> the only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean! So that was you! The light of the pirate moon made it look like it! Do I care what it looked like? No! What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground, and we want you gone! <laughs> I don't want your food, matey! I want the sword of the pirate king! And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates! And uh, you, my friend, don't know much about swordfish, or you would think twice about fighting us. We live by the sword. We use it for swimming fast, slashing at our food, and defending ourselves. Aha! Three against one, eh? Just the way I like it. <laughs> Just regular sword fish, but we can heat up our eyes. It helps us to see better in the dark waters. It's working. My paws are getting warmer. Now let's get you out of there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Quasi! Captain! Grab hold of the tow line! Sword is bruised. You need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, thank you, my friend. And thank you for saving our fellow fish's life. It was nothing. You're as brave as a swordfish, and not bad with a sword either. Anything we can do in return, you just let us know. Ah, all I want is what I came here for. The sword of the Pirate King. 
You must have seen it. It's here somewhere. X marks the spot. What is an X? What is a mark? What is a spurt? You swordfish aren't the magical guardians the legend told of. So maybe there's no sword of the pirate king either. Come on, Quasi. Don't give up now. Hold on. X marks the spot. Mateys, I'm going to need your help. The sword of the Pirate King! Wow! If only me granddad could be here to see him! Yeah. 